In this video, we will learn how to create smoke exposure with fire cracks in Photoshop CS6 Extended. We will use smoke exposure actions for this effect. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to be creating a smoke exposure effect. It will not only a smoke exp uh, effect there will be a damage you will see that but before we start let me just show you what we can create with this uh, this one is and after applying our effect it will look like this but it, it is not just worth it just zoom it in and look at this there are damages including this image let me just show you another image today we are going to be working on this image and after applying our effect you will look at this this amazing effect isn't it cool? I really like this effect. So, without wasting your time, let's start our work. Before we start, let me just close this. Uh, this one also. Or just leave it as it is. So, this image. The downloading link is given in the description bar. When you will download your files, the files will uh, the file look like this smoke exposure actions. It will be a zip file. When you will extract this, there will be a folder. Open this folder and there are uh, four files two are for patterns and one is brush file and one is uh, one is pattern file and two are for actions file so their description what is included in this uh, a smoke exposure like alien file psd file asl file abr file and help file so don't worry about that let's just start uh, create a new layer name this as brush in lowercase We press B from our keyboard, size it up the brush, and let's just size it up and select a hard brush. Okay, so round hard brush. Now press D to default colors and we will select a sharp red color. Okay, so now fill the image which you want to apply. Like I want to apply on this character, so I will brush over all over it. So okay so I have selected my character look at this now keep in mind that your image should be up to 2000 pixels both from uh, uh, height or width so uh, uh, minimum is 1500 and the maximum as you should afford so this one is selected now create another layer name this as smoke now what you need to do is just select a black or brush just need to change the brush color to make difference so this color can be uh, this brush stroke will be used for creating smoke so create the area where you want to create smoke try to make a wider, a wider thing like this one so the smoke effect will be or the cracks will be right on this edge okay so okay so as you know as you can see that i have selected my selection now time to load brushes okay so just go to edit preset preset manager from the preset manager go to load brushes open up your folder where you downloaded your uh, file open up your folder you will see that there is smoke brush just click and click on load as you can see that i have already loaded them so i don't need to load them again so hit done now click on your styles if you don't have this here just go to windows and go to styles where are styles yeah there are styles so from the styles click on this side and click on preset manager again and go to uh, patterns from the patterns click on load patterns and again open your folder there will be a smoke patterns so click load and it will be loaded so as you can see that i have already loaded these uh, patterns so hit done okay on the next step we'll go to windows actions the main file as you can see that i, I have already loaded so just go to your uh, this side panel icon and click on load actions again open the folder and you will see that there are two folders 
so it depends on your face uh, photoshop versions which uh, version you are using i am using photoshop cs6 extended so i will select cs6 if you are using cs4 or cs5 you will select this file okay so select your cs6 and click on load so i have already loaded this now click on this turn on both layers and select any of the layer you don't need to be fix on this background layer or anyone you just need to select any one layers and click on smoke brush open this to see what's going on on these processes so click play button and wait for completing the process okay so the process is complete you just need to close the smoke patterns and you will see that there is a nice smoke created so just go to damage it will create damages this is the main effect which we were going to create so click on open this uh, click on this drop down arrow and it will open all the processes here so just click on this uh, smoke action group and click to play and wait to wait for completing its process so this one is also completed now you can see that there are nice cracks and like ashes and like uh, you can see that a fire look at this amazing effect and hold on the image you can see that and nice smoke so what you can edit in this you can edit everything in this uh, like smoke smaller smoke bigger smoke everything you want to be edit so there are uh, one more thing left is to check the background so before we proceed to the uh, background let me just tell you that there are two type of damages in this action so first damage is you can see that this one and you wanna you can run another one it will create random uh, you can say that uh, damages on this image so okay so the next thing is that which type of background you wanna use if you wanna use default background then you don't need to use these two steps and if you want to create two type of background there are two type of backgrounds like green and black you can use any of them like this shirt his shirt is like look like green like little uh, we can say that lighter green uh, shade of green so we'll select this ba green background but before we run this action or this process we'll just go to our windows go to history and from the history uh okay and do state on the history we will create a click on this uh, camera icon so it will create an image this one so this will this one image uh, will be rem uh, keep us remember that we have created this effect so this is default and this is uh, the after applying our effect you can see that all these layers are as they are if we lost uh, any layer we can get back them later so now uh, now we'll get back uh, we'll create this one or uh, this one create another image so it could uh, do more a lot of work so close this one by selecting this uh, snapshot and what we'll do is we will go to actions close this one sorry open this one and select the green as i want to use green you can use black one also drop down arrow and click play actions okay so you can see that it has created a different type of ashes different type of uh, we can say that color of cracks you can play with this settings you just need to close this and now remember we have created a snapshot of our work so if you want this work this is also done this one is also this is original this is original this is uh, the new one which we have previous one which we have created and this is the default one so and this state is that we have recently created so you can play with these settings link is given in the description bar you just need to do one thing is that just click on the subscribe button to keep updated about new actions and some new features so i hope you like my work subscribe to our channel go to facebook and check out our facebook page if you are creating something new uh, using these uh, actions or these actions then you can post it on comments so i will check what you have created on that so the best one will be included in this video or in the next video and we will meet in our next video keep in mind never stop and keep learning